are live! Uh Nobody likes us yet. Let's see. Okay, so they're telling people we've started. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Do you think, uh, how many people do you think are signing on right now that just, like, clicked off the TV from us to us? Please tell us if you just finished the finale, and you have to give proof that you did, because we know... And if you, I just cried, so... (laughs) Okay, but there's more. What happened at the end? My sister's texting me because she saw what happened at the end. Okay, you guys, so here we are. This is, I'm Jane Levy, this is Skylar Aston. We are reporting live on the Zoe's Playlist account because season two's finale just aired. And we know that there's some hot goss, there's some deets, there's some questions, some follow-ups, some stuff you might want to know. And we are here to tell it to you. So we can, they can ask questions here, but also I could show showing Jane. Okay. Someone just is saying hello. Okay, so you want to, instead of waiting for prompts, do you want to just kind of like, do you want me to ask you a question? Sure. Um, how was it prepping for all of the things that you had to do in the finale because you not only had to act in mostly every scene, but you had to sing and dance more than once. I did? Well, you oh, had to yeah. dance more right, than right, once because right. you danced with your dad and you had to right. sing one time. Yeah. But those are like two very, very big dance numbers. Correct. Okay, so it's been now like two months since we did that and I honestly can't remember other than, you know, there was a lot of rehearsals with Peter and Jillian, our associate choreographer would do my part with Peter. Um, because that is like a very dancey sequence and, uh, dare I say there's like polka as a part of it, the boom, 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 boom. That's like polka. Yeah. No, I saw it. I was like, polka break. I don't know. Uh, the orchestra was really amazing. Yeah. That was, you were there that day. I was there that day. Because you were in the dream. I was in the dream, which filmed after that song. And it's rare that I go to uh, set early to watch songs, but twice I did that this season. One for I lived. And the other one was for Bernadette Peters and Mary Steen Virgin singing If I Were a Rich Girl. You just happened to be there? I happened to be there and I was like, I can't believe, do you know how many times I paid good money to see Bernadette Peters sing? So the fact that I got to do it for free was really cool. Pretty cool. Anyways, I don't remember rehearsing. I don't remember anything. I blacked everything out. I can't. <laughs> um, Jane has such tunnel vision when she's working that it's, it's funny. When we see her after, like nowadays, it's like almost seeing her after war. She's like, I don't remember, I blocked all that out. True. True, true, true. Not actual work. I'm not like very fun when we're working because all I do is work. But work, work, work. But every once in a while, I'll uh, you know show up to a party. Do you want to tell anybody about the one recreational thing you did do while you were in Canada and go on a boat ride? So during the finale, um, adding insult to injury, how busy she was. She's like, I have one day off, and here's what I'm doing. And the final week in Vancouver after being there for eight months, not coming home ever. Um. I went out on a sailboat with Emma and Kayla, if you're Shout watching. Out. <laughs> Kayla, I hate you. And we got stuck um, in the bay for 12 hours, and the Coast Guards had to rescue us, and we all barfed, and we got seasick, and it was hell. From was my perspective, truly hell. it was like you were texting Peter Gallagher, myself, and the leads, because we were talking about something else, and she's like, I'm on a boat, and like a cute picture, and I'm like, oh, heaven, but looks a little cold. Yeah, I was like, be jealous of us, we're be drinking, jealous of us. and Cutting to like, guys, no joke, we're stuck, to like, <laughs> we have a bottle of wine, to like, we don't have water, to like, the Coast Guard's coming, to like, 1 a.m., and like, you know, yeah. it felt really bad. 12 hours. Okay, oh. so are, are people talking about things yet? People oh, did Max looking. get an MRI scan too? So actually, I, he did not get an MRI scan. What I am wondering about, and I am at the creator's house right now, so I can ask him, uh, how far he got in the airport? Did he go through the x-ray machine? That's a good question. I don't know about that, and maybe we'll find that out in a season three. Wow, I love that. You know what I mean? Because I think that there's something really cool about the universe, and also I al- always love like the sci-fi element. Um, but do you kind of think that the dream almost answered some questions about like where the power comes from in relation to your dad and stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think that um, if you're watching and you haven't watched on the West Coast, major spoilers ahead. So sorry. Alert. If you haven't watched on the West Coast, turn this off. It'll be saved for later and you can watch this at later. That's true. You can watch this at later. Um, I think that you know, Zoe is clearly flawed when it comes to relationships. And we see in this episode that she says, you know, 
losing my parents and complications that happened in my childhood made me afraid of ever getting close to someone because knowing that you could lose them at any second is too scary of a thing to bear. Uh, you see that in the flashback episode when she might lose her mom. She's like, maybe this is why I put Max in the friend zone. And then in this episode, I do think that there's some supernatural father blend mm -hmm. where her dad is able to give her this power as a way to be able to exist in the world after he leaves. And part of that is finding love in Max. And so I think after that dream, whether it's in her subconscious, whether it's just, uh, who we don't have an answer yet, but I think it's definitely related to having a parental figure looking out for you and, and giving you the gift of love. And, you know, our relationship wasn't working because he could hear my thoughts and I couldn't, or he could hear Zoe's, Max could hear Zoe's thoughts and Zoe couldn't hear his. Hear his. And so now, you know, in season three, which we hope happens, you know, this will be an exploration of what happens when a couple can hear each other's thoughts. Maybe it'll Absolutely. work better that way. There's a lot of areas to go. And by the way, as we theorize, we actually don't know. Like nothing's written and no nothing's fully realized, nor would they tell us. But I think there's a multitude of things that can... Mandy Moore! Come say hi to Instagram. What is happening? <laughs> we are alive Mandy on Mandy Moore, our choreographer. Hey! What? And producer and director, hashtag. And Austin Winsberg, our creator. And Miles Winsberg! Yeah. Who Miles Clark is named after. Yes, look at that. This is the original Miles, the OG. And the dog. Right and the sweet doggy. Oh, you guys, this is awesome that you're doing this right now. Yeah, we yeah, are. There's a lot of people that like it. Are people asking like questions? They, they are, are asking they are, yeah. questions. Are they, okay, good. And Skylar brought up that maybe Max went through the um, metal detector at the airport. X-ray machine. Before. I don't know how far he got, because they're like, did Max get an MRI? I was like... I don't know. We don't know. We don't we know. We haven't seen that. Yeah. We've only seen him do some curbside check-in from there. We don't know where he left Rose. We know they had a conversation. Yeah, they talked. And they talked, know. and uh, the rest is herstory. So good to see you. <laughs> what are the questions that people are asking? Well, let's see. You guys. Well, there's give them also to us. like there's also probably forty-eight questions here. Love you, Austin. Here. Someone said love you, Austin. Love what? You, Austin. Love you too. There's like all these questions. Man, that is awesome. Favorite non-Zoe ship. I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> uh, we want, a lot of we want season three. Us too. Will there be a season three? Will we ever find out Zoe's MRI test results? Ooh. How does Max we have tried to put that in the show multiple times now? How does Max feel about having powers? How does he feel? I mean, I'm just the guy that inhabits him. Are you gonna sing that song? I've got the power. <laughs> don't don't guys, don't give up. Don't give away the opening of season it. three. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that your audition for it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finally auditioning. So no, we were talking about just a lot of um, the fun stuff that we got to do and how, well, you can actually speak more to how much of a workhorse and crazy person she was in the finale that she had to do two dance numbers. I don't remember. Way. She doesn't remember I it. <laughs> I think we block it all out, actually. Yeah. So it's like childbirth. Like yeah. You forget how painful it is and how hard it is. I okay. know. He, he was like, what was it like prepping for those two things? And I was like, don't know. Because they we were so polished. We just had every once in a while. You know what I mean? Like it was like you would have half a day off or a day off and then we would just grab you for like three or four hours and just input information into your head. Yeah, and I think we were able to plan like mm -hmm. two episodes in advance or yeah. at least one. Yeah. Right. I remember coming to the rehearsal room and watching you guys do Melt With You. Mm -hmm. And like it was so joyous and awesome. <laughs> and it was like, I was like, it's fantastic. It was great. And yeah. Skylar's like, well, what do I do? And I was like, don't worry, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, we'll teach you later. There Welcome there. to my life. <laughs> Literally, I felt like you. I was, I was, I was like watching everything you do and just trying to relate to it. And also, I wonder. Well, first of all, I've been asked this question a lot: if it's just Max now, or they share it, or how that's going to happen. But I guess we should keep everyone hanging I on that clip. I've been asked that question as well. Okay, so we won't. We, no one knows the answer to that. Mm -hmm. um, but we have. Uh, coined a new phrase, Maxality, which doesn't roll so much off the tongue <laughs> as Zoality does, but we're working on it. We're Do you think that Maxality would look different than Zoality? Interessante. Yes, I do think so. <laughs> I think that it'd be cool whether it's the first few episodes, it takes a while to get there, but if they both do share the power, I think it'd be cool if they both hear someone sing uh, and... Zoe hears one song and Max hears another, and that shows a lot about gender norms. I think there's a lot to play with. I think there's a lot of cool cerebral yeah, stuff we're, to we're do. Not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> He's like, decides. <laughs> like all of my songs are actually really lame. That I, yeah. hear. I just saw somebody say that it was such a feel-good ending, and I felt the same way. I watched the episode like five days ago or something, 
and I cried and I laughed and then at the end I was like oh. it's like a Gary Marshall film just like, like, like <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, that's, 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 that's the highest that's praise that's from, that's from that's my mother that's yeah that's pretty woman yeah literally. okay who was Max singing about at the airport Rose oh no Oh, no, oh, and now do you know what we really yeah. look like? Our ring light ah. guy. Wait, by the way, I'm actually like, doesn't it look better without the ring light? Maybe it keep actually does. Maybe we'll, we'll keep it like that. No, no, no. Did it? Did I've it got the power! <laughs> um, it's getting, it's getting. You guys, it's getting this is all head. fake. We got a ring light. So, no, I was obviously thinking about Zoe at the airport. I'm so sorry. But that was a hard misdirect, though, to sell. It was really hard because, like, I... It's such a painful like, thing, but we didn't want to show the pain because that would have given it away to Zoe and really the audience. Um, I'm interested to hear how that kind of went over with the audience. I loved it because I thought it was kind of singing in the rain. I mean, there was no There was a little captain, rain on the day. But you had like that oh, coat oh, oh. on and you were like swinging around that pole yeah. and like, yeah, I thought it was really good. It was fun. It was also really crazy because none of us had been to an airport in so long. And we actually were filming at an airport that we've flown out of so many times during season one, just going back and forth for press and stuff. And it was kind of giving us feels because it was on the last week of shooting as well. Totally. It was really wild. Wait, I just thought of something and then I forgot it. Mm -hmm. Cool story, Jane. Yeah, no, no, no. You get it? Oh, it said, when will we find out about a season three? I think probably next time, next in the next month. I'm sorry it's so long, but we're hoping uh, by a month from now, I think we'll know for about sure. About season three? Yeah. I'm keeping my fingers dialed in. What, you think it's going to be two weeks? I'm thinking it's going to be, I'm like looking off screen like there's someone <laughs> there, like the head of NBC's here. What do you think? I think um, yes, we will know in the next three weeks. By the way, thank you. I'm so just much gonna say a month because what if it takes a month? That's a good call. I think technically they don't have to tell us for another month, but we're hoping to. Just I think we'll know sometime in the next few weeks. Any sometime guest stars that you want for the next season? Yes. We want. I want um, like recording artists to be on the show potentially that like want a chance a turn at acting. I think that'd be fun. Um, I always think it's very exciting. When Who would be like your wish list person for that? My wish list person would be Billie Eilish and Ariana Grande to play like Zoe's like younger like friends or something. Can we get them? Unfortunately, Billie Eilish is like 15 years younger than me. But you guys could hang out. You hung out with Felix. She's what? She's 18. She's 18. How old am I? I'm 31. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then she could, be, then she could be like my... Uh, Felix's younger sister? Aiden's younger sister? Aiden's sure, younger sure, sister. Sure. Yeah. Billy, and her name is just Billy on the show? Her character's name is Billy? Who else? Who's on your wish list? Um, Lily Tomlin? Sure. Yeah, are you kidding? Yeah? Yeah, duh. Great. I'm, this is something that I'm not good at, uh, is casting. So, uh, thank God for casting directors. Joanna Gleason? Joanna Gleason. That's a big wish list. I want Joanna Gleason to play my mama because she was the original Baker's wife in Into the Woods and Chip, who plays my dad, was the original Baker. Did you guys see the New York Times article today about like um, theater actors being hired on TV during the pandemic? No. I thought it was interesting where like certain casting directors were really aware of Broadway actors being out of work and then being like, okay, we're, that, that's who we're going to go to first. Yeah, Law and Order did that a lot. Which is awesome. Yeah, very cool. There's you're a Broadway talent. actor. I'm a and you're a TV actor. And you're a film actor. And a film actor. Let's get Sutton. Let's get Sutton Foster. She's doing Music Man and anything goes in London, by the way. Oh, she's a little busy. She is a little busy. Maybe Mae Whitman. But she loves the show. Maybe Mae yes. Whitman. We should just get all of our cool friends. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones would be great. She's Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, I'm, I'm such a Rosie O'Donnell fan. Rosie. Rosie, where are you at? <laughs> Please. Judith Light, someone said. I love Judith Light. I know Judith. Is she, I did she, she, she do musicals? Yes, she could do anything. Right. She could do anything, and she'd be delightful. Pat, Patty Lapone. Patty Lapone. We should get all these dames. We yeah. should have Mary just be Judy the Dench. chorus of Judy Dench, <laughs> actual dames. Well, did you guys? That's another article that I was reading about Judy Dench in like seventy-one films, but like her hardest role to date is on her grandson's TikTok. Anybody? Yeah, oh. Okay. Josh Radner. Josh Radner would be great. Rebel Wilson. Love Josh Rebel Radner. Wilson. I just had a conversation with Josh Radner. Radner the other day, and kind of mentioned that. Ted Danson, sure. Ted Danson would be great. Yeah. He's a little busy on another NBC show, but, you know. He might be here. He's like the mayor of NBC. Question. Yeah, maybe we'll go back live when, like, we've had, like, a given Ted Danson a cocktail, and we can, like, ask him and put him on the Mandy spot. Mandy Patinkin? Yes, please. That. Please. <laughs> Mandy yes, Patinkin that. wild. Let's do Mandy Patinkin. Great. Mitch's friend Mandy Patinkin? Mitch's friend Mandy, and just call him Mandy. I, I also want all these people, just their characters' names, to be their real name. To play a character named Mandy. Okay, enough dream casting. 
What else do you guys want to know? Do you have any? I know you get asked this probably in every interview, but do you have a dream song you'd want to do on the show now that you're going to be singing more? Yes, I do have a list on my phone. Are you going to be singing more? Well. By the way, this heckler <laughs> that you're hearing off camera is our creator. Wait, should I should I save my list for Austin for? Yes. Well, maybe the, give them like one. Don't yeah, don't give away yeah, all the. Yeah, I want to see it also. By the way, because no, I think it would be. No, too many spoilers. No, 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 good call. Not too many well, I want Annie Lennox really bad, but you know, walking that's kind on of broken a... glass. Do we have like or a? Or why? A, a you guys know. I hate. I don't know if I should say this on Insta. Don't yeah. say it then. <laughs> no, Annie Lennox is hard to get. Oh Annie yeah, Lennox okay. Is very hard to get. Notorious. Wait, what about like a prayer, Madonna? I want. I tried for an episode this season to get. Uh, I mean, Madonna's another one who's hard to get. Mm. I tried this season. I've been. I've been wanting to get Madonna since episode one. And also, uh, here comes the rain again. Annie, your rhythmics I tried to get. Okay, well, what about if Skylar and I sing? Let's give him something to talk about. Let's give him something to talk about. Yeah. And I had to do stank face just like that. And can by the way, Mo sing, hear you guys sing that and just be disgusted. Sure. Yeah. Just like, so, somebody like just asked. Uh, Hey, you guys looked really cold in the final scene. Was it really cold? It yeah. was the most... I wish you didn't know that. It was it, really cold. I wish we were good at we, acting. We almost that. moved it on the day. We almost yeah. moved it on the day. It was I was worried. I was wearing like cold. four layers underneath my clothes. But we decided, I think, that like the wind, it made it almost look cosmic. And like we were, you know, yeah. since the power switch was going to happen. What do you think that's about? What do you think that, what do you think that comes from? That we're talking in, in, in terms of like Peter Gallagher slash Mitch is the reason why you have the power... Is that because he gave the gift through love for me to have it to balance it out? Okay. I think so. That's my theory. I think that's actually really smart. Guys, Andrew is here. Andrew, show yourself. He did. He said, how did you guys get this always playlist password? Because he's clever like that. Skylar has a lot of passwords. I'm a hacker. I don't just play one on TV, folks. He don't play play. If I was going to play Zoe for a day, what song would I sing? It's Friday, I'm in Love by Phoebe Bridges, because I know you want to do that oh i thought someone said that i want to do that really bad yeah. oh yeah. got it yeah. <laughs> um we're not gonna write COVID into season three even though we don't know anything about season three i can tell you that's not happening also alex isn't here alex lives in new york which sucks for everybody yeah. except for people who live in new york he's sending his deepest regards being here hot and sweaty what does that mean i don't know okay well, you guys better ask some good questions or we're gonna go People are kind of saying things. Hold on, 99 questions. I'm so worried about that. Also, me, like, threatening. (laughs) Sorry. What's something you'll always remember from this? From this? How do we feel about Clarkman? What do we think about that name? I mean, I shouldn't answer it. Okay, I guess I shouldn't either. (laughs) It's on the other end. no, because I'm just like... Max, you feel weird about it? Are, like, actors not supposed to talk about their shift names? No, I'm just like, there's more to life than, you know, your relationship. Oh. I agree. But that wasn't the question. Okay. But I agree with that, too. Where's Mary? Mary is coming. Who's your favorite cast member to work with? It's okay. You could say Alex and John and everyone else other than me. No, I love everybody. Equally. Except for... Andrew. Yeah, I hate Andrew. Andrew's a piece of shit. (laughs) Okay, I'm scrolling through these, like, formal questions, and they're very similar to the other questions, which are like, yay! What will we take away from this season? I think gratitude... I am, I am, it was really, it was really wild to shoot this during a pandemic and we felt very lucky the whole time. Yet, since we were like in a slight state, at least I could speak for myself, of anxiety the whole time in being able to continue, I just felt like a robot who was just like, I'm so gracious, I'm so hopeful, I'm so gracious, I'm so hopeful. And now that I'm out of it, out of it, like I can't, I I am even more grateful to be able to do it again and even have a third chance at doing it slightly i won't say post pandemic but definitely post vaccinated and just a little freer i'm sure we'll have some safety protocols but i just um i think we could enjoy it even a little bit more in this next season i guess i want to coin a term what do you think of poco post covid Poco. I know we're not post COVID. However, but, I'm vaccinated. Skylar's vaccinated, so we get to. No, I know we're not Poco Amazing. either. But, you but know, like, what do you guys think of Poco? Hundred percent and hashtag Poco. But I should, you know. Hey, Joanna. Joanna's here too. Joanna Lee's is here. That's cool. Someone's saying something about I have not great eyesight, so I'd have to do this to do a performance. You wish you could do more of. You know what? Um, I wish we could do more of or more of the grouping of uh, tearing up my heart with me, Simon and Mo. I just loved doing that. It was every time it was really fun and it just felt like it was easy and in the pocket. So I think the three of us should do another thing. Maybe the four of us? I agree. But who would hear it now if it's the four of us? Correct. 
Well, wait, someone just said something interesting. Um, My sister just said something. Poco. Poco. Stop trying to make Poco happen. <laughs> I love the contrast of the season finale being happy. Last season, the music died. This season, the music has revived, sister. I know. I love it when you guys come up with, like, really concise theory metaphors yeah. about the show. It makes Austin, me so fucking I find, happy. I, I feel like Austin would like that that vibe. Yeah, He's, right? Hi, Brielle. More 90s pop, for sure, yeah. More 90s pop. And also, yeah, the harmonies. I... Harmonies are cool. I think harmonies should have. Have you listened to the podcast that's like um <laughs> about harmonies? <laughs> it's called like Song Explosion or whatever. Okay. Have you listened to it? I have wait, not wait, yet. Wait, wait. Shit. But I feel like okay, so something I've been cool thinking game. about. No, I'll, I'll I'll take the floor. Something I've been thinking Song about in, in a potential season three is you know how do we elevate not just the story which we can now that Max has partial power. But I think something we could elevate musically is doing more harmonies, also doing more potential mashups. Now the two people can hear songs, mashing up songs I think now we can do. And dare I say, I don't even know if and when, but original songs, maybe Max or Zoe hears a song that has yet to be on a playlist. Um, and another thing was another musical term that I can't remember. Thank you, Andrew. Yes, it's Song Exploder. I've been listening to this podcast that has been blowing my mind. Okay, so Zoe's has brought so much to my life. I think Zoe has the same experience uh, of, like, I just really wasn't that musically inclined. I'm not, like, this songbird, and I didn't, like, I don't play an instrument, but I I've recently felt like, wow, life is so much more rich with more music, and I know that that's how Zoe feels, and so I've been taking voice lessons, and I'm about to start piano lessons, and I've been listening okay. to Song Exploder. I cannot believe you have to listen to this song. I'm so in. Oh my god. Why do they talk about Oh my like, god, they talked to like Jewel about uh what's the song? You were meant for me and I was meant for you. what's that song remember called? Remember singing that. Yeah, but what's it called? Foolish games. No, it's not foolish games. It's called foolish games. No 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 no. No, a different song. No, anyways, you were meant she's for like, me. Yeah. No, I was meant for you. Anyway, she's like, I was homeless, living in a car in San Diego, drove yeah. down to Mexico, broke into some abandoned place, woke up, it was heaven, wrote that song recorded it with Neil Young. She had a frog in her throat. That's why she sounded so funny. We recorded it several times because or she like was never, never a hit for radio. Her. The show, the song was never a hit for like a long ass time and now it's like one of the most sold records. Whatever. Watch, listen song to Song Exploder. Exploder. I, it really blew my mind. And I just was thinking about music and how lucky I am to work on the show with such amazingly talented musicians and I, I love music, man. I love music too, man. And I feel like we can actually explore that more like we are i find by the way i know you're like skylar you were like this broadway guy that came over like i feel like i've grown a lot from this show and like learned a lot and been very ins inspired by obviously you and the others around me and like i i want to see potential like a lot of us do play instruments i wonder if max ever does bust out a piano thing cap can play the guitar john can play the guitar alice could play two instruments you're gonna learn how to play the piano It'd be wild if we can explore that Totally. I think, I think the music well is kind of endless as we open it up. Somebody just said, Jane, can you talk about Zoe's style? That's all Heidi Higginbotham, our costume designer. She's incredible. Uh, I do feel like sometimes Zoe is like wearing armor and like the the collar and the sweater and the blazer. And I'm like, okay, Zoe is psycho. <laughs> can we like chill her out a little bit? But I think it's like, it makes sense in the story that we're telling when she needs to feel like, safe she like puts on her like spark point armor and you know zoe i think we all can see through everything in her and she's uh maybe now that she's let her guard down maybe she'll show some collarbones oh my god maybe will the show stick to sunday nights we don't know we don't know we've been on tuesdays we've been on sundays we don't know if we're picked up cliffhanger it would be crazy honestly this sounds so funny but like it would be in, it would be mean to the fans. I feel like if we didn't get a season three, because especially the way we wrote that cliffhanger is like I would be so upset if my show did that. I, I think it's um, it, it should happen. So we'll see what's gonna happen now with the Maximo pop up. Great question. There's a line that was actually cut for time probably, but I guarantee you still is in the world of Zoe's is in that Max is gonna talk to Danny Michael Davis about opening up a pop up in L. A. Maybe that'll change, like, the location. But I know that, like, it was very important, at least to me, when I read the finale script, 
I was like, Max can't just completely throw his full career away for love, which is a true, honest, of course, deep love, but I think it would not be uh, responsible of him and would say something about his relationship with Zoe if he was doing something that wasn't right for him. So clearly he had given it thought and um, knew he was not going to, he was definitely, he's definitely not going to let Mo down in that way. So Maximo will continue and it will franchise elsewhere. Someone just said, how's it working with Felix Mallard, who played... Aiden. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Not one scene with him, <laughs> but I just read. I forgot. I, know, I forgot I everything. Um, he's so lovely as an actor and as a person, and I'm really um, glad that his other show, Ginny and Georgia, is so successful. Yeah. He was a darling. He was so, um, so great at that party scene. And so was Andrew Leeds when he sang Crimson Love. Yeah, that was good. Oh, God, I loved Zach Orth so much. How Me too. Mm -hmm. Someone just said, can we bring him back? I would love that. Yeah, please. Um, what did you think of 12? I loved Our it. flashback. Wasn't it lovely? So good. People have been asking. Um, I've done some interviews, and they've asked a lot about that. And I, I was surprised at the way Zoe and Max met. I, I had always just assumed we met... We instantly had banter, got coffee, and were making fun of the other people. And I thought it was really smart of the writers to like give us this journey together, even in our origin story. I thought that was fun. Yeah, and what about that scene tonight when Zoe finds out? It's it's funny. Somebody had tweeted after they watched Twelve, like, "I can't wait for Zoe to find out because that's gonna spiral." And that was a lot of conversation between me and Skylar and Austin, our creator, because yeah, I think you'd feel a lot of things at once, like Zoe does, which is like embarrassment, but also like. Uh, love and surprise and shame but also like maybe turned on i think very confusing <laughs> you, know? you were playing all of those things brilliantly in that kitchen scene i watched it the other night and Thank i you. texted you you're absolutely insane you go through every single thing and i i know how important it was to you and you just freaking nailed it did alex ask to join the live why does everyone say alex join the live i think <gasps> oh I no it says send invite i think yeah well, you have to go in three minutes, so... We do have to go in three minutes, because we're going to hang and then watch it on West Coast time. And tweet. I'm going to tweet more. I'm going to tweet, 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 I'm going to... Let's get this trending, baby. Yay! <laughs> so okay. Like... <laughs> she just became a social oh, wait, media manager. Wait, I see Alex. Alex said the show sounds Oh, my God. Watch. He's doing a bit, which is great. Alex, we love you. Alex's song. Have you heard his song with Vincent called Fire? Because it's a damn song. You would know it. Is it new? It's brand new. It's amazing. Baby. Oh, We're still on. Yeah. We'll probably wrap it up. Probably wrap it up, right? It doesn't have to be a hard 30. Coldplay? <gasps> yeah. Where, where have you been I heard this. Life? Yeah, I heard it. Boy, don't stop taking me This isn't Alex yet. This is Vincent. We will be kicked off of Instagram if we play too much of this. I really? Yeah, the other because day. Because of because of rights. Copyrights. I literally did was doing like dance parties for my uh, followers. Yeah, that's his delivery. Alex, I love so you. Okay, I'm turning it off so that we don't get kicked off of Instagram. It happens, and then we would, and then we would. This would all go to. Someone shit. says Brielle always has great song choices, and that's true. She does have. Who great is that? Songs. How do they know? That's just a fan of the show, I believe. But how do they know Brielle? Because I talk about my siblings literally all the time on the internet. We love you, Brielle. Yeah, big shout out. Um, it's been on loop for the past week. Yeah, me and Brielle do love it. We've been texting about it privately. Okay, is there any final words or, or things that you want to leave our audience or at least this Instagram Live with? Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Honestly, you are such an extension of this story. And we really do feel the connection. I mean... Our first season aired during the middle of the pandemic and it felt like a pure escape. And then we, by the grace of something, were able to do season two. And now you guys have seen everything and we're all caught up. So now we are just hopeful and happy to do this show and hope to continue to tell this story. Somebody just asked about my hair. So Skylar oh, just said I felt like I was really doing a wrap up. Beautiful and, then you, now and someone asked, will I, Zoe have this hair next season? You should. I don't know. I'm worried it's going to be like Felicity. 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 <laughs> it might be a little bit like, a, my girlfriend's very That's a cute for me to leave. Hairstyle. I told you that. I texted her that, and now everyone knows. Short, dare I say, short, short, I believe she said short hair, I just made a look good. Short hair Jane is a vibe. What? Thank you. Great memory. Felicity. If you want Felicity, season three. 
<laughs> then <laughs> someone cut Jane's hair. Okay, thanks right, on guys. On that note, and only that note, thank you guys for watching. We will be bye. tweeting on the West Coast. Miles says bye. Take care, everyone.